empowering healthy habits hello and welcome back to our channel today we're tackling a crucial question for people managing diabetes is it better to exercise before or after meals maintaining a healthy lifestyle and keeping your blood sugar in check is essential and exercise plays a significant role in achieving that so let's dive in and explore the benefits of exercising before and after meals as well as which approach might be best for you exercise and blood sugar control first let's talk about why exercise is important for blood sugar control regular physical activity can help lower blood sugar levels increase insulin sensitivity and even help with weight management all of these factors contribute to better blood sugar control and overall health but when is the best time to exercise to optimize these benefits let's start by discussing exercising before meals when you exercise on an empty stomach, your body is more likely to tap into its fat stores for energy, which can help with weight loss. Moreover, exercising before eating can help increase insulin sensitivity, which means your body will use insulin more effectively to bring down blood sugar levels after meals. Benefits of Fasted Exercise Some studies have shown that fasted exercise, or exercising before breakfast, can lead to better blood sugar control throughout the day. This can be especially helpful for people with type 2 diabetes. However, if you have type 1 diabetes, exercising before meals might not be ideal, as it could increase the risk of low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. It's crucial to monitor your blood sugar levels closely and consult your healthcare provider to determine what's best for your individual needs. Exercising after meals Exercising after eating can help lower blood sugar levels by increasing glucose uptake in your muscles. This is particularly helpful for people with type 2 diabetes, as it can aid in reducing post-meal blood sugar spikes. Post-meal exercise and timing. Timing is key when exercising after a meal. It's best to wait about 30 minutes to an hour after eating before you begin your workout. This allows your body to start digesting the food and prevents discomfort during exercise. Keep in mind that the type and intensity of exercise can also impact how your body responds, so it's essential to find what works best for you. The importance of consistency. Regardless of whether you choose to exercise before or after meals, consistency is crucial for managing diabetes. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise per week, as recommended by the American Diabetes Association. This can include activities like walking, swimming, cycling, or even dancing. Individual factors and preferences. It's important to remember that everyone is different, and what works for one person may not work for another. Factors such as age, fitness level, and the type of diabetes can all influence how your body responds to exercise. Additionally, personal preferences and schedules play a role in determining the best time to exercise. Consult your healthcare provider. Before making any changes to your exercise routine, it's essential to consult your healthcare provider. They can help you determine the best approach based on your individual needs and medical history. They may also recommend adjustments to your medication or insulin regimen to ensure that you maintain optimal blood sugar control. Trial and Error Ultimately, finding the best time to exercise may involve some trial and error. Monitor your blood sugar levels closely before and after exercise, and keep a record of how you feel. This can help you and your healthcare provider identify patterns and make necessary adjustments. To wrap up, both exercising before and after meals can provide benefits for managing diabetes. The best approach depends on your individual needs, preferences, and the advice of your healthcare provider. Remember, the goal is to incorporate regular exercise into your routine in a way that aids in blood sugar control and promotes overall health. Stay active, stay informed, and keep moving towards a healthier you. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you found this information helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful advice on managing diabetes. Remember, we're in this together, and your health is our priority. Until next time, stay healthy and stay positive.